been uh, without trying, you already yeah, know. Without trying, eh? Shout out without trying, man. Shout out to Without Trying. To my man Without Trying on YouTube. O.D. E.N.T. W.T. Geography. I'm here with my man Without Trying. He does everything Without Trying. Without Trying. O.D. E.N.T. TV. Shout out to Without Trying group for just uh, letting me get my CDs done here. I do, They do CDs. They do videos. Shout out to Without Trying. Without trying, game. Shout out, shout out without trying. Y'all already know how we roll. All right, shout out without trying. Uh, big, big, big shout out to without trying. Without trying on Instagram. I without trying. That's the big homie. Get all the money out. Get all the booty out. Get all the bitches out. Niggas know what's up. Hit them up. At without trying. Do what it do. Without trying, game. Y'all get clap, right? Clap it up. Yeah. I only work with energy, you know what I'm saying? Like, I give you my energy, y'all give me some. I just got a brunch, I need y'all to clap it up. We at church, right? God ain't done nothing for you. <laughs> nah, uh, my name is Vanetta. It's a, it's a pleasure to be here. I met Stu like a little bit ago, but I, I just got here from New York. But I am originally from North Carolina. So I was real scared. I was like, dang, these people gonna think I'm country coming through here. <laughs> But I'm in the country with y'all. <laughs> so we was coming to all these back roads and shit. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> I thought I was gonna get out or some shit for a second. <laughs> got a little scary. But it's all good. We're gonna have some fun. I know we're gonna have a good time. I prayed before I got here, okay? And I was high, so me and God was real close, alright? <laughs> I don't know if y'all ever did that before. Y'all gotta do that shit, man. Y'all gotta pray and smoke some weed at the same time. Yes. Shit's so good, man. Try to get, yo, I got so high, I tried to pass the blunt to God. <laughs> so, yo, God, you wanna hit this? He was like, I'm good, my child. No one's getting higher than me. He's up there. He's up there. Yeah, man, I pray a lot. I grew up in the church. I'm a pastor's daughter, all right? Yeah, I'm a pastor's daughter. So y'all might hit dick like 57 times for me tonight, okay? Okay. I hope that's all right. I know a little bit about both, the Bible and dick, all right? Okay. <laughs> I can put them in the same sentence. I'm going to try not to, but you know. <laughs> I know about them both, right? It's crazy. I grew up, my, my mama was a pastor, so that was extra. That's some strict, man. I didn't see my first dick until college, y'all. Yeah. But I saw way too many because I'm kind of gay now, so. <laughs> One too many hits with that snake, you know? It was just. I'm good on it now. It's weird. I mean, I still like dick. I mean, it's, it's, it's dick. You know, you can't get away from it. You know, it's dick. It's gonna be there. I still have a little relationship with Dick. It's weird, because I treat uh, I treat Dick like I treat communion at church. Uh-oh. Because <laughs> I take it, but it's only because it's tradition. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> like, supposed to do this, you know? It's crazy. Yo, I like that we're a little older crowd. I like it. It's like an older crowd. The kids, shit's dope. I ran into a lot of older women lately. I ran into this old lady on the train. It's funny because I was like, you know, New York subway. It's like so crowded. So I'm trying to get this lady my seat. I'm like, hey, you want a seat? She's like, I'm good. I don't want your charity. She looked at me. She made eye contact. She's like, you just make sure you live your life. Have your fun. And it's weird because when somebody older tells me to have fun, I think they're just telling me to be a hoe while I can. <laughs> Live your life, girl. She looked up a fish net, she saw the stock, it's like, live your life. <laughs> Which in essence was suck that dick. You know, it's just <laughs> And I just thought about it, I'm like, yo, when I get about when I'm pushing them 60s, 70s, I'm be thinking about all the dicks that I didn't talk. Like, we sad about it. Like, you know what? I should have talked to that little nigga. <laughs> I have a job, we ain't have to have a job. <laughs> It's crazy. It's crazy. Y'all been reading the news and shit. You know they're talking about uh, uh, the king of R&B, right? Y'all heard that debate. Who's the king of R&B to you? 
And, you. And I ain't jockey. Yeah, I'm asking you. <laughs> I want to know. I want to know. He has a very sound opinion, you guys. Who do you think the king of R&B is? Keith Sweat. Keith Sweat. Okay. Who else? Give me somebody else. Who you think it? Joe, who the king of R and B? Was that your name, Joe? Oh, you don't want you don't want Sharon to know I met you at the bar. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, nah, never texting him back. 
I'm good. Make sure your wallet is below your waist too, right? <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> no, but I'm doing good. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I'm doing good, though. I'm doing good. Uh, last time this year, I didn't have a job, y'all. And this time this year, I got a job. And I just got promoted. What's up? Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, I just got promoted from the side chick to the main chick. Split, yo. Split. It's crazy. I didn't know how to accept it, though, y'all. Like, it was weird. Because, like, I saw this nigga in the daytime, but I didn't recognize him. <laughs> I was like, you, you ain't got no hair. <laughs> I had no idea. Crazy. I don't know, like, I really don't want to get promoted to the next level with the guy. Like, uh, I'm too busy. I'm, uh, listen, I'm a hard worker. All right, I got work at brunch in the morning. I'm about to get on the bus, take my ass back to New York, be working at the clock in the morning while y'all sleep. Um, but that's because I got the heart of the wife, y'all. Like, I got the hustle. I got the heart of the wife. But I got the schedule of the mistress, okay? That's just what it is. Like, ultimately, like, I'll take care of you, but I would just really prefer taking care of your dick. <laughs> I mean, you got so many other chicks that can fold your clothes, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> A chick can fold your clothes, that's cool. But a chick that can take care of them balls, come on. <laughs> She's a star. <laughs> Thank you, Omar. I appreciate that. I'm fuck with y'all. Nah, I mean, honestly, I don't, I'm not gonna say I don't like relationships, but I just don't prefer salary sex, you know? Salary sex, that's what they've been having for about 50 years. That's what salary sex is. <laughs> <laughs> she said, what you talking about, girl? No, salary sex is dope, because you know, you do the, you, it's dope. You just do the job real lazy, because you know you get paid regardless. <laughs> and that was, that's salary sex, that's what it is, even in a relationship. All right. Not in my house. She said, I flip it, turn it around, flip it, fry it, boil it. No. Ma'am, I'm just, you guys are giving the most energy. I got to mess with y'all. See the whole place is cleared out, you know what I'm saying? Y'all in y'all here Woodstock still burning, girl, okay? <laughs> they on their phone and shit, look at them. How long y'all been messing around? Is this a couple? No? She's like, I'm texting my main nigga right now, girl, what's wrong with you? <laughs> this is my side nigga. <laughs> Like, <laughs> I do that. Ah, 
and he did it right nine times, yo. Get up, get up. That's dope. All right, I ain't getting to this. This is, this is getting nasty. Um, <laughs> and I'm kind of intrigued because I got daddy issues, so like, <laughs> I'm just like, oh my god, this is cool. <laughs> This was dope. I, I guess I would end on something normally, but since it's a family affair, I just want to say y'all keep family and God first, like for real. And keep being the beautiful vibe that y'all have and stay together and be dope. I just want to give y'all a little bit of my time. Thank you for that. My name is Vanessa Schofield. Thank you, Jamal. Y'all enjoy y'all turn up today and have fun. Okay, thank you. Y'all give it up for Vanessa Schofield, y'all. Preacher's daughter sucked dick. That was awesome. For real. She said that every time she said anything, every time my name was like, squirt it out. Squirt it out. Hey, y'all, y'all, who said they go to church in Who said they go to church in here? Go to the black church. What, what's this? Why everybody have black church in here? I went to seven different churches, so everybody knew this shit. What is it? You, you, you go to a black church? Yeah. Right, you, 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 so, so you should have known about him one more start on time then you go to black church. He ain't complaining about the time he go to black church. You ain't you don't get out on time, you won't start on time. You're not a shit coming. <laughs> Come in to hey, it's almost nine. You go to that church at 2 30, you see it's like 30. <laughs> For real, I had to stop going to church though. I had to stop going to church. For real, Pat's gonna tell me uh if you give eight dollars, give twelve. You give it ten, give twenty. Cause he, he, I guess he was trying to get a car or something, right? <laughs> For real, you know what I'm saying? You know how you go into the past and get a, uh, get a car, right? So I think he gonna get like a Lake and Town car or something, right? That motherfucker pulled up with a Navigator. This is like 97. I'm like, I live up the street. I ain't getting no around and I pay for this motherfucker. <laughs> that was my last day at church. Right? I've just been reading the Bible ever since. At least I still read the Bible, right? That's cool. Yeah. That's good, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I, I don't understand it, but I read it. That's good. Yeah. I keep reading it. Go to Bible study. Go to Bible study. I'm listening to y'all. He know what he doing. He keeping his woman. A lot of dudes ain't can't keep that woman. Right. That's true. That's true. You see how he asked the dude over. He's like, y'all together? He was like, yeah. <laughs> I just paid for the fucking tickets. <laughs> y'all took it. For real, man. Why? Why are people who ask people for um who ask people for stuff always the rudest? Y'all y'all know that. Somebody asks you for something and then they be rude when they don't get what they want from you. Never happened to y'all? I was on a train last week, right? I'm going through the show lady was like, um, excuse me, um, you got two dogs? I'm like, nah, man, I ain't got it. I'm going to walk past the next day, excuse me, man, you got two dogs? She was like, no, man, I don't got it. First of all, I'm like, who the fuck needs two dollars off the break, though? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Most people need some change or a dollar. She wanted two dollars, right? She come to me and tell me, sir, you got two dollars? I was like, nah, man, I ain't got it. So she asked like six, seven more people, right? Nobody gave her the answer to the food. She just stood right in the platform from there, everybody like that. I mean, do anybody got two dollars? <laughs> I'm like, how you making this nobody? <laughs> she said, I'm tired of asking individuals. I'm just asking everybody in one goddamn time. For real, man. This shit is crazy, man. Handicapped people rule, too. But yeah, I got, I'm always on the train, so I sit in the train twice, so y'all already know I, that what? I don't drive. Fuck y'all. <laughs> I need to talk about the train, I don't drive for you. But now I was on the train, all right? The dude in the wheelchair, like, so when he got, he got one of them, you know, one of them joints you blow in, right? Y'all seen one of them? Y'all seen one of them wheelchairs before? The wheelchair you blow in, to make it move? No. So anyway, so I'm on the train, all right? So he was behind me, right? So I don't, I don't know how, I guess he like must have coughed or something, right? Because I'm standing where you, you know, to get over my stop. So I guess he must have called, like, like that, so when he did that, the joint like sped forward real quick. He smashed me in the back of my leg, right? No, this really happened. I'm not making it so, so, so like, I look back like, come on, man, like, you all right? You want to muscle the fuck out of my face. I was like, huh? I was like, man, I said, you gotta say, you gotta excuse yourself from bumping into me. You bumping into me, sir. I'm talking about some, um, I don't give a fuck what you talking about walk around. I was like, walk around? You can call me walk around because he rolling around. I said, this is bullshit. I, I, nah, this really happened. These ain't jokes, man. I ain't been saying shit funny since I got up here, right? Good, nobody agreed. That's okay with me. You okay, mama? Joe, you almost got beat down, Joe. What she said about the bar. My bad. Don't do that. Huh? I was talking to. I don't care who you talking to. Hey, hey, no. Hey, hey, uh, 
Hey, fish, fish. It's time mama go home thinking about it bedtime. It's time I'm going to go ahead and tuck, tuck it around. Hey, Joe. See, why you wouldn't rush up here to save me like you rushed up here when she was up here? Hey, uh, Mama. Damn, man. Damn, man. Hey, can you give me another cranberry? It's like, nah, I'm messing with you. Any drinkers? I'll nah, drink. You drink? You drink? You can't be by yourself, right? Oh, okay. Who you come with? You give me. Okay, man. I'm just asking. I want to ride. You know what I'm saying? Like, she gave me an ass. She didn't even look at you like. <laughs> huh? I ain't got no money. Oh, come on, you got no money. Come on, you got no money. Shit, train high as well. Fuck around the train. This shit, 895. They go, gotta replace the highest of all. What is up? This shit, 895. This shit, high. Well, let me use the church van then. Give me the keys. Let me use the church van. Give me the keys. I can pick up like 15 more people and you give me the keys.